the end of your career. You do not take less. And he would be second fiddle to Odell Beckham if that fourth was fiddle. fourth fiddle. Exactly. Yeah. He's not going to play that role. His ego's too big to play that role. He Dennis said Bryant, he wants to go there. Please, that's just talk. That is all. I don't think it's just talk, Darren Woodson. I actually think that he means that. I think that he does want to go there because, once again, Des Bryant is not the sharpest tool in the draw. All talk. Oh, that's just, I think that's really good. Right? Now, do you think Dez is still real good? I think he's okay. Listen, I don't think I think he's better than okay. Is Dez the same so guy why? three years ago? No, he's not. He's but not he's better same. than okay. But he's better than okay. Well, let's put it this I, way: if he's the best receiver on your team, you should be doing better at receiver. No, no, like he should be the second best receiver on your team. Look, I, I sometimes it's at best, Dez Bryant should be the second best receiver on your team. I'm sorry, I'm not even looking at the speed and the separation and the route running. Just looking at the hands. He does not even catch the passes that come his way. That's the most glaring thing to me. I'll let the experts like Chris Carter and, and uh, Shannon Sharp talk about his deficiencies in route running and his inability to complete the route tree. I'm just talking about the, the footballs that actually reach him. He's unable to secure them. So I cannot put him as a primary target on my team. But I do think that if he were to sign with the Green Bay Packers, he could have a renaissance. It's best for you to go somewhere else. I, I, I'm serious when I say this because Des has been there for a long time. He's been a staple. And I, the, the reason I give Des Bryant so much credit is because when Tony Romo went down, his numbers went down. Des didn't deal with the injuries that he personally had. He wanted to go out there and play the game, fight through those things. And I get it, being a warrior. And he bit his tongue when that team, the Cowboys, went from a pass-happy offense to a run-first offense. He sat there, bit his tongue, played his role yep. yeah but you know what in Dez's defense they were a run first offense in Des Bryant's biggest season when they had DeMarco Murray the real issue is that he and Dak Prescott had no rapport because DeMarco Murray ran for over 1800 yards in the season that Des Bryant had something like 14 touchdown receptions or how many touchdown receptions he had back in 2014 it was either 14 or 18 touchdown receptions that he had but he led the league and even with the declining years that he's had in the previous two seasons he still is something like in the top three of all nfl pass catchers in touchdown receptions over the last something like seven or eight years like i believe he has 73 touchdown receptions over the last seven or eight years he's up there with gronkowski so des has had a rather successful career if he's thinking with his brain and not his heart he'll go sign with the green bay packers or possibly go to the arizona cardinals and embark on a tutelage under Mr. Larry Fitzgerald. I think that that would be the most beneficial thing for him to do, but I don't think that he's going to do that. And I have been stating that since the first video that I did on this topic. I love the fact that, that, well, that, that his, and his numbers dropped through the process. Uh, it's time for a reboot. Uh, okay, the, the team where? Is ready, is where? Going to, a couple of things. A couple of things to point out here. First of all, when you talk about the Giants being an excellent choice, but you can understand folks are better. Well, damn it, how many people get to get an A? You understand what I'm saying? Somebody got to get a B. So if somebody did several teams that you could pick ahead of the Giants, then that makes sure that makes them not an excellent choice. Well, they're an excellent choice. No, no, what I'm saying is it makes them not an excellent choice because there are other teams, there are several teams that you could pick and choose that would be a better situation for Des Bryant. I'm saying by virtue of that, it's not excellent. Number two, when we look at it from this perspective, everybody doesn't get to get an A is all I'm trying to say. I agree with you, sir. And I don't understand how the Giants could be an A with a shoddy offensive line and a quarterback who's been in decline for the last four or five seasons, to be quite frank with you, and who was never accurate to begin with. Eli Manning has led the league in interceptions something like three or four times. I mean, give me a break. And, and number I'll call two. it an A minus. Number two. Well, I don't look at it as A minus. I'm looking at Des from the standpoint, you want to go someplace with quarterbacks that make you look better. We've had questions about Eli Manning. Now, granted, Eli Manning is a two-time Super Bowl champion. I personally believe the absence of a running game in an offensive line, he definitely needs to take that. You've got to take that into consideration when you're judging Eli. The other side to all of this is that if you have a plethora of weapons, okay, then that means Des Bryant's going to be lost in a shuffle. And well, here's the problem, Stephen A. Smith. Eli Manning has led the NFL in interceptions repeatedly over the course of his career. We can't blame the offensive line for his interception issues over the course of his career. Number two, Des Bryant will not fit in well with the culture of the Giants, at least how it's been established over the last 40 years or so, where they consider themselves conservative. They've allowed Odell Beckham to express himself in the manner that he does because he's been exemplary. 
And to be quite honest with you, what else have they had to attract the fans to the stadium other than him? But would Des Bryant be a good fit on that squad? No, he would not. No, he would not. It wouldn't be beneficial for either him or the Giants to sign him. And if that happens, what's his attitude going to be like then? That's a problem. Well, That's a problem that can't be I don't be know. Good. All the marketing money he'll make in oh, wait, New York wait, wait, wait. City That's with a rock. It's going to OBJ. It's going to OBJ. The GM. Don't play cleanup. It's a nice set. They released Brandon Marshall. They released Brandon Marshall. They released Brandon Marshall. They released Brandon Marshall. But, no, no, but, but maybe no, no. that's because no, no, they see no. Dez on a discount. When that gentleman was in Carolina, he had Josh Norman, right? That's right. Let him go. Let him Let go. Him go. They so where did Dez go? Where should Dez go? I, look, I say got the Patriots. Say the Patriots. If you want to look good, you want to look good. First of all, say it. Go where the money is. Go where the money is from this, right? If that's not the case and it's all even and it's a fantasy football world, I'm taking them to Green Bay. You're right. Right. I want them to play. Fill in that Aaron role Rogers. where Jordy Nelson was, put him on out there, and, and Aaron Rodgers will make him look like a Absolutely. superstar all over it. Thank you, sir. I mean, how could you have any other option? Aaron Rodgers will make Des Bryant look like he looked three years ago. I really believe that. Absolutely. If you're That's where he should go. I, I, if we're talking about, look, I disagree with that because he's not better than the other receivers on Green Bay Does right now. Doesn't matter. Aaron Rodgers is so transcendent that he can make Des Bryant look like a good wide receiver, which he is not right now. Aaron Rodgers will make him look good. He won't make him look like Jordy Nelson, but he'll make him look good. Des could have a thousand yard season with Aaron Rodgers. Right uh -huh. now, he's a, they're all kind of like pretty nice if receivers. He wants to win no a one's ring. amazing. If he goes to New England, actually, Bill Belichick has shown me it. If we're talking fantasy, that's not going to happen. Bill that's not going to happen. Des Bryant is not a Bill Belichick type of guy. Randy Moss was traded there, but Randy Moss is a football genius. He can diagram plays on a chalkboard. Des Bryant can't do that. If Des Bryant can't run a damn route tree, how the hell is he going to fit in on New England? From what I understand, they have the most intricate offensive system in the entire NFL. He wouldn't fit in there at all. Belichick has shown the ability to rein in personalities, let them be themselves, but within a team kind of structure, and get the most out of them late in their careers. That's not happening. How are your Cowboys out of the news? Like, no one's even talking about them anymore. We're talking about them, right? It seems as though the Cowboys are finally cleaning up their act and, and being as concerned with business and the logistical aspect of running a franchise as they are the, show, the showmanship and the show business. So that bodes well for them. But they do need to draft at least one wide receiver. And once again, this will be a referendum on Dak Prescott this oncoming NFL season. Because there are many people who don't believe in the Dak Prescott experience. There are many doubters that he has, so he's going to have to either prove them wrong or confirm their doubts. With the Cowboys. I want to say right. good. I'm kind, of thinking, I'm kind of thinking about showing up to the draft Come on. in Dallas. Come wait, on wait, 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 I'm going to hang with you. Where are we going to do? Where are we going to go to the ATV show? We're going to go to the Star. We're going to go to the Star, to Jerry's house. We're going to go to Jerry's house at the Star. At the Star? Where you Star? In Frisco. Really? You ever heard of the Star? Really? Yeah, I've heard of it. Come on, man. Oh, I'm showing up. I'm showing up. I'm showing up. Listen, are we going to run into any nauseating uh, uh, Cowboy fans? We're going to run into those? Darren Woodson, take him to that coke house that you guys used to go to back in the mid-90s. With all the blonde haired white bitches and the, and the lines of coke with you guys acting like Tony Montana. Let Stephen A. experience that shit. That man will have the best episode of First Take <laughs> in the history of the damn show. Man be talking at 500 miles an hour. And motherfucker be like, the audacity, the temerity, I'm gonna get it going. I can't believe this shit. Oh my God, they, they, they cut this brown off. Aaron Rodgers, he is a bad man. Oh my God, Woo. let's go to commercial. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Do I have a license to make oh, the life visible? Do I have a license to make the life visible? You got my cowboy boots ready? You got my oh, cowboy boots ready? I, I, reckon, oh, I reckon you ride. I reckon you ride. You know, give me a cowboy hat. I'm my done. cowboy I'm boots done. ready. With the black boots. Down yonder over there. Make a right down yonder over there. Oh, my God. Is that what he said? Do you have an accent? He has like an Australian accent. End up at the start. For British accent. End up at the start. I reckon you ride. I reckon you ride. I reckon you ride. I reckon you're right. Let's go. You're with us a lot today. What's that? You're with us a lot today. All day. Oh, really? awesome. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, Welcome yeah. back at the end. Yeah, I bet you can't wait. Back at the end, yes. He's with us for like 10 blocks. All right. Coming up. I bet he is with your ass for 10 blocks. He's, he's going to walk with you for 10 blocks all the way back to your apartment, and you're going to be the cowgirl. But anyway, we'll see what happens with Mr. Des Bryant, who he signs with, hopefully, for the sake of his career. 
he decides to go to Green Bay. Now, if money is the primary issue, which it oftentimes is, and I mean, it is what it is. He is a businessman first, and there is, a, there is another franchise that can offer him more money, then sure, go ahead and sign with them. But hopefully, he'll be able to put up good enough numbers to continue to earn that money because in the NFL, they can cut you whenever they want. That's why I stated if I were him, I may consider signing a one- or two-year deal with Green Bay, getting my numbers up, my swag back up, my confidence back up, work on my route running, have an opportunity to work with the most talented quarterback, the most gifted quarterback of all time in Aaron Rodgers, and then go from there. But he certainly is not a good fit on the New York Giants. I could see that entire franchise imploding. I was about to say exploding, but imploding. Having him and Odell Beckham in the same locker room on the same sideline, oh my God. Them motherfuckers, they'll be looking like they're having a damn cheerleading tournament. They'll be gesticulating so wildly on the sideline. But anyway, peace.